We just spent an incredible 30 days bow hunting in Tanzania. I was able to harvest a massive crocodile. I made history by being the first woman to successfully harvest a hippo with a bow. I spent weeks hunting the largest leopard ever taken down by a female and succeeded. I even made my furthest shot yet at 87 yards on a stunning old sable. Apart from hunting, we also visited the largest school in the area where we donated school supplies, food, and drinks to more than 800 students. This act of giving back was an absolute highlight of the trip for me, especially because I had the opportunity to share it with my children and demonstrate the significance of philanthropy through example. Now our adventure continues as we travel to Uganda. This will be a completely different style of hunting and very different terrain. We will be hunting on locals farmland where they're actively running cattle and other livestock. But these farmlands are abundant in game and we are excited to hunt there. So first up, we're hunting ancient old warthogs. Let's dive into the hunt. After hunting all afternoon, off in the distance, we spotted the biggest warthog I'd ever seen in my life. This warthog was absolutely massive, a truly once in a lifetime type of pig. We stalked this pig for quite some time, waiting for the opportunity to get a shot. And then finally, we got into position to make a 43 yard shot. I saw that thing and just stopped in my tracks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Charles, I think we should give at least it. give him a half an hour. Yeah, I wanted just to get... Are you? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. So, the shot was a little higher than what I would have liked. I think my rangefinder hit something behind it. My sight wasn't set properly and somehow we found him. We were kind of expecting him to be in like one of these really thick brush piles to come charge us. Did not think he was going to be dead. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is, this is hands down one of the best trophies we ever take. Insane. Like, first animal in Uganda. First warthog. I don't Are like you? you very much in this moment. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Congratulations. Sir. Thank very, you. Very nice Amazing. Very nice After harvesting the biggest warthog of my life, we spotted a couple of ancient old water bucks. With them being out in the wide open, we only had one strategy we could try. We were going to act like we were working cattle and hide in plain sight. So we walked completely normal and didn't even try to sneak up to them. To my surprise, it was working. We were closing the distance on this old beast. But it was too good to be true, and they both took off without ever getting a shot. But with it being so open, we watched where they went, and we were able to sneak in again using the anthills' cover on the same bull. My arrow flew true, and at 65 yards, I hit him square in the heart, breaking his offside shoulder. The beast broadhead's extremely sharp blades expired this old bull quick. We got my water buck out, cleaned him up, and I am just so grateful to be sitting behind an East Africa Defasa water buck. It's nice when they fall, obviously, on camera. Such a perfect shot. Very proud of myself. 65 yards. 
spot and stock on this free-ranging animal. Just such a perfect mature animal to take here in Uganda. We're gonna get some bits. Definitely does not always happen this way, especially in bow hunting, but here in Uganda, they just recently opened up bow hunting and so a lot of these animals have never been hunted before. So they're not ran around by hunters being shot off trucks or in a vehicle. So we're able to get pretty close. We've been putting some really good stocks on some animals and just got a huge Impala. I actually thought I missed. I couldn't see where my arrow hit. Charles was like, no, no, you hit him. Went down immediately. That beast broadhead does such a good job. It's just so nice to know. You can rely on a broadhead like this to put down an animal just so quickly and ethically. I do think the shot was a little bit back, but there's a lot of arteries in them. Like I said, they are a small animal. And obviously he went down immediately. Again, a true testament to the beast broadheads on such a beautiful, mature ram to take. I could not be more proud. This is one of my favorite animals to eat here in Africa too. They're delicious. And as you guys have seen, just so plentiful here. It's such a game rich environment. And we're just so happy to be here in Uganda bow hunting. Could not be more grateful to be behind this animal. We're gonna get some pics.